Hi, I'm Webb Beagle from Keen on the Market. I'm going to talk to you today about swing trading using the market web's value area indicator. Uh, using Tesla as an example, we can see here that the value for the year of 2015 is set up being the low being at 197 and the top and the high being at 256. The last signal that we got, and this is set to aggressive here on the uh, on the weekly, this every candle represents one week of trading. The last signal that we got was a buy signal here on the 6th of April, as we got into back into value, um, starting that week back into value. Now some might want to do a gap play, but obviously that didn't work out as we've been in an uptrend ever since. More importantly, when it comes to swing trading like this, what I like to use is the on the daily chart using monthly value areas. So each value area here represents a month. This value area right here, which begins this upward trend, is the value area for April itself. And you notice this buy signal right here. Now, if I'm swing trading this, basically what I want to do is buy Tesla around here. This is the bar here. This is at 202.50-ish, say, with a, a stop at the point of control. So if, if we come back down into value and hit the point of control, I no longer want to be long this trade. Okay, because there's an 80% chance that we're going to go even further down to, in this case, 188. But we, you know, so if I, if I go long here and stay long, you can see we never hit, we never come back down there. So my stop is still here. As we move into value for the next month, this month being the May's value area, I can run my stop up to the point of control here at 206.8, which would lock in profits. Notice we still get further buy signals here and maybe I would even add to my position and again keep my stop at 206.95 and continue we never come back down into value for the month of May and here we are in the month of June and okay we do touch the point of control but at 245.75 so even if I have this trade on from 202 half and even if I added here at 228 and perhaps even added at 236 and then I exit the trade and I get stopped out, quote unquote, at the point of control at 246, that's still a wonderful, wonderful swing trade. And using these value areas as references, not only for entrances and exits, but also uh, for entrances, but also for where to place my stop in a way that I know that if we come down and touch this area, there's a high probability that we're going to go further down. Now, in this case, for June, maybe I wanted to keep my stop maybe a little bit below value area or the the point of control maybe i want to be in the middle of the value area you know it's it's completely up to me as the trader and my discretion but notably at the start of the month of june we did have a sell signal so i would have been looking to take my exit regardless um, and perhaps i would have even exited closer to the 250 level um, as we started with that bear signal right there so as a swing trade you know using the value areas on a this is every candle represents one day, but these are the monthly value areas. It allows me to do the same kind of trading that I do on a day trading setup, but do it on a larger time frame and capture bigger moves. If I have the capital or if it's I'm doing option strategies or I'm just buying the stock and I'm staying in it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, there's also other interesting things that happen. Um, one I'd like to point out right now is NCR, where notably, and this is the month of June, I'm gonna zoom in here. The last signal we got on June 15th was a buy signal. NCR was just barely above value. The day before, it had rallied a bit more and had pulled back this day, and we got a buy signal. If I had taken this buy signal as a swing trade, notably, the next day, talks of, of takeover rumors start coming out, I could have taken a really good profit right off the bat um, if I had wanted to. And the reason for this conceptually why why the value areas might be a early indicator for even something as as seemingly unknowable as uh, takeover rumors and and takeover deals is that the value areas are all based on the consensus of the overall market the amount of volume that trades and where it trades in relation to where it has traded before we call them value because that's where the value of the stock has been established and where we're trading in relation to previous value of the stock 
because the price is the value how how often how much people can sell it for a certain price how they can buy it for a certain price etc 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 so once we're start trading above value suddenly the market is is saying hey you know there's actually more this is more valuable than it used to be okay and as we would have found out the next day there was a reason we made that move there was a reason that we got that signal so another great example of why the market webs are really really a powerful tool um, and something that is really not traded on. It's it's really a new system. I came up with it, um, expanding on long long concepts, um, uh, long held beliefs and concepts. I just expanded it on different time frames, automatic calculations, etc. But it's very very useful and something new. So hopefully you enjoy that and uh, can make great use out of it. Thanks very much. Bye.